Can I have everybody's attention? Can I hope there's going to be a Russian bastard? Yes. 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 No. No. Okay. Two things I want you to remember. There is a difference between a revival culture and a growth culture. As Pentecostals, we get them confused all the time. And because of that, we cannot seem to produce a growth culture. Because in order to have a growth culture, you got to think differently. You got to know your purpose. You got to have that spirit of hope. You got to learn to encourage people or get a blessing tongue. You got to experience determination. You got to keep a positive attitude. Positive attitude. You can have great revival and not grow. A revival culture is prayer, fasting, worship, witnessing, and faith. Those are great things. You need to have all of that. But if you don't add these other things to it, I can promise you, you will not grow. You will stagnate and you will and you will go down fast. The spirit of jealousy is the enemy of growth. Territorialism. 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 See what I'm talking about? Because if you can't let God bless someone else, Ako ne možete da dozvolite da Bog blagoslovi nekom drugu. If you cannot submit. Ako ne možete da se podredite. Submission. Požećivanje. Is important. I jako važno. For growth culture. Za kulturu rasti. Because if I cannot lead my people. Lead. Jer ako ne mogu da vodim svoje ljude. We will not grow. Nećemo rasti. That means I have to be able to position them. Where I I have to position them correctly. Because they might think they're working at their maximum effectiveness. And they are not. And I have to move them. And I don't need them to have an attitude for six months. To get over repositioning them. Because it kills growth. And it'll kill it deader than a hammer. It'll kill it dead. So We've got to be able to know what our purpose is. We've got to get a positive attitude. Somebody's got to say yes. Somebody's got to affirm the vision of the leader. And you've got to be able to give yourself to accomplish that vision without a bad attitude. Which means you've got to train people all the time. You've got to train them in order to grow them. That means 
You got to be willing to train your own replacement. To znači da morate biti spremni da trenirate svoju vlastitu zamenu. And if you can't do that, ako ne možete to, I can promise you you will not grow. Obećavam vam nećete rasti. You must train. Morate trenirati. The more you train, što više trenirate ljude, the more you'll grow. Više ćete rasti. And that is a fact. Ja to je činjenica. Train. Trenirajte. Teach them Učite. how to become effective. Kako da postanu efektivni. And then when they're blessed, onda kad budu blagoslovljeni, then you will be blessed. I vi ćete biti blagoslovljeni. It lifts them and you to a higher level. To će podići njih i vas na više nivo. I'm training a whole younger generation. Ja treniram uh, ili mentor sam jednoj mlađoj generaciji. And I hope they're better preachers than I am. I nadam se da će propovedati bolje od mene. And I want them to do far better than I've ever done. I želim da radim mnogo bolje stvari nego što sam ja ikad radio. And the more the better they do, the more excited I get. I čim su oni bolje, to sam ja uzbuđeniji. I just they can't do good enough for me. Oni ne mogu da budu dovoljno dobri za mene. I want them to increase. Želim stalno da rastu. Because that's the reason I'm growing. Jer je to razlog zbog kojeg ja rastem. Because they know that I'm going to lift them to a higher level. Jer oni znaju da ću ja njih non stop dizati na viši nivo. And release them to fulfill their destiny. I da ću ih pustiti da, da svoju, svoju misiju, svoju sudbinu ispuniti. Now let me tell you the core that drives all of this. I reći ću vam srž koja pokreće sve ovo. And that is a very important component to jako važna, ja, jako važna sastojka. And it's called the rule of five. I zove se pravilo pet. It has saved my life. I ono je spasilo moj život. It has made me who I am today. To je napravilo od mene to što ja sam. And if you cannot tell me what your rule of five is, i ako ne možete da mi kažete šta je vaše, you probably do not, you probably do not have one. Verovatno ga nema. And you need this rule of five in your life. A treba vam ovo pet osnovno pravilo. And I'm going to work you through it and show you how to do it. I vodit ću vas kroz to i naučit ću vas kako da ga nađe. And you got to make up in your mind I'm going to do it every day. I morate da napravite odluk u svom umu da ćete to raditi svaki dan. First thing you need is a Bible. Prva stvar koja vam je potrebna je Biblija. How many of you know what a Bible is? Koliko da vam zna šta je to Biblija? That's a good place to start, isn't it? <laughs> Bible. That is your rule book. <laughs> and you got to live by that book. <laughs> if you let culture define your identity, <laughs> you've already lost. <laughs> You're already dead. <laughs> Because culture is not our God. Jesus is our God. Yes. And the Bible is our road map. But if you're not in that book, then there's nowhere for God to speak to you. If just your experience speaks to you, it is easier for you to be deceived. I'm not worried about anybody deceiving me. Does not concern me one bit. Because you can't deceive me as long as I'm in that book. But I pray every day that I don't deceive myself. Because I am very concerned about me deceiving myself. Because I'm the one that I have to be concerned about. Because you can tell yourself you're doing all right and you're not. You can lie to yourself. That's why the psalmist said, God desires truth in the inward parts. That's a poetic way of saying 
To je poetski način da se kaže. You got to tell yourself the truth. Da morate sami sebi reći istinu. So I purpose in my heart. Tako da purpose in my heart. Tako da svrha u mom srcu. I determine in my heart. Odlučio sam u svom srcu that I'm going to read a portion of scripture every day. And I am going to pray that scripture into my life. You need to pick yourself a place that you go to. And you need to set a time, the same time if you can. I da namest, da organizujete sebi vreme, tačno vreme, ako je moguće, svaki dan. That you go to that place. Na koje odete svaki dan. At that time. U isto vreme. And read your Bible. I čitate svoju Bibliju. And ask God to speak that word into your spirit. I tražite da Bog govori reč u vašu duhu. You cannot defeat the devil. Ne možete pobediti djava. With your opinion. Sa vašim mišljenjem. Your culture. Sa vašom kulturom. Or anything you've got. Ili sa bilo čim što vi posjetite. Only the word can defeat the devil. Može da pobedi djavu. But it will defeat him every time. I pobedi će ga svaki put. He is no match for the word of God. Niko ne može da se meni sa reči Bože. Well, I just felt power run through this building. I felt the Holy Ghost come on. Osjećam se svoj 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 svoj. There's power in that word. And it will defeat the devil not one time, but every time. I've had people in my church that have been in the church for 30 years that were afraid to witness to anybody until they got their rule of five. <laughs> and then all of a sudden they had something to say. <laughs> because they just read the book that day. Mm -hmm. So when they met somebody at the supermarket or at the grocery store, or whatever you are <laughs> And there's somebody there that needed ministry. <laughs> They even testified about it. Oni su svedočili o tom. I had something to say. Imao sam šta da im kažem. Because I just read the word of God. Sam čitao reč Božju. And I became a witness for the first time. Postao sam svedok Božji po prvi put. In 30 years of being in the church. That's why I say. Zato kažem. That we need a growth culture. Samo da da je potrebna kultura rasta. Because people aren't growing. Jer ljudi ne rastu. They're still locked in fear. They can't even be a witness. Because they're not growing. But you got to have something to eat. And you need the book to eat. Eat the book. Eat the book. Not literally. But spiritually. Alright, you need to write what you read. You need to write what you read. I want every one of you to go buy a journal. You got your notebook. There you go. Go, girl. Go. Got your notebook. Have it with you. Because God's going to speak to you. You say, well, God never talks to me. That's because you're not listening. And if you don't listen, he ain't going to talk. But there is a proceeding word of God. Which simply means God's talking all the time. It's just you're not listening. That's why you sit down and you get a place. You quiet your mind. And you read. And you pray. And you write down what God speaks. Or you just write down what you just read. Get it as close to what it says to you. But keep working it. Get up the next day. If you don't get nothing out of it, do it anyway. Make yourself 
do it. Na, na teraj sebe da to radiš. It's important. Važno je. It's vital. To je uh, vital. Now I read an inspirational book like Made for More or something like that. Ja čitam So you might as well buy the book. <laughs> And you read that. Because it has a way of speaking to you. It's not more important than the Bible. But it's a great addition to the Bible. And that it helps you understand. How to apply the scriptures. Because sometimes you don't know how to apply it. But you can learn by reading other inspirational books. Then I want you to find somebody to speak to. Now your rule of five can be different than mine. I'm giving you mine right now. And that's all right. Just get one. Give a rule of five. And do it every day. I remember Sister Vesta Mangan. Shaking her finger and just pointing it at me. She always liked to poke me right there in the chest. And she says, Brian, you got to do it every day. Every day, every day, every day. Every day, every day, every day. And you got to learn how to do that every day, every day, every day. Don't give me no excuses. Don't, don't give me that too tired look. And don't tell me you're too busy. Because I'm too busy. And I'm still going to do it. If you miss a few days, it's all right. Ako propustiš pa da nam reduje. Don't beat yourself up. Nemoj sebe da ubiješ po toga. Nobody's perfect. Niko nije savršen. Not me, not you. Ne ja, ne vi. Just get up the next day. Samo sreći dana u kad ustaneš. And start over again. Počni opet. And just keep on going. Samo nastavi. Don't quit. Nemoj da odustaješ. Keep at it. Nastavi. Until you get it established in your life. Dok to ne postaviš kao stup u svom životu. So I want you to read the Bible. Tako da želim da čitate Bifiju. Read an inspirational book. Čitajte knjige koje su nadavljene. Write in your journal. Zapisujte u svoj dnevnik, u svoj sasku. And find somebody every day to speak that word to. I nađite svaki dan nekog komu ćete to govoriti. Speak it to somebody. Govorite tu reč nekom. Speak it to a sinner. Govorite grešniku. Speak it to a saint. Govorite to ljudima iz crkve. But I also want you to speak to a leader. Ali također želim da to govorite i vašem vođem. And instead of giving them a piece of your mind, and telling them how much better the church would be if you did it this way. And speak an encouraging word for once. And if they fall out, it's not in the spirit, they just had a heart attack. <laughs> Oh, I must have hit something. I could feel the energy get sucked out of the air. I hit a nerve. You need to learn how to encourage your pastor. Quit sucking the life out of him. Quit telling him how much you could do it better. Because everybody can do it better until you have to do it. And then you find out you ain't no better than anybody else. <laughs> that only happens in America. Never Serbia, correct? Right, right, just America. It happens in America. But you're killing your growth. You're, you're eliminating the growth factor if you don't learn how to encourage your leader.
And you need to do it every single chance you get. I radite to u svakoj mogućoj prilici koju dobijete. Share with them your love, your word that God has spoken. Delite vašu ljubav, vašu radost, to što Bog daje vama, to što je Bog govorio vama. If it's nothing else but going up to your preacher after he preaches. Niš, makar ništa drugo samo odite do propovjednika nakon propovedi. And said that message really blessed me. I kažete mu ta poruka je mene blagoslovila. And that is what you need to learn to do. I naučite to da radite. You'll create a growth environment. Stvarajte to okruženje rasta. It'll humble you. To će vas poniziti. Because we're really not all that, are we? We're not all that. Oh, we're not that cool. We're not that cool. Nismo mi toliko cool i toliko visoko kao što mislimo. You need to learn how to be a blessing to others. Morate da naučite kako da budete blagoslov drugima. And if you'll start with the Bible, i ako počnete sa Biblijom, and you'll pray the word, i molite se u vezi reči, and you write in your journal, i zapišete to, and you speak it to somebody, i govorite do nekome, you've got something to say, imate šta da kažete. And now you can be an encouragement. Instead of just using your leader as a means to express your problems, or talk about your problems. You now have vision and purpose. Now you speak encouragement because you believe in the vision of the church. You now want to be a part of the vision. And now you have energy because there's something flowing between you that's positive now. Remember the principle of the Ark of the Covenant. Zapamtite princip Kočega zaveta. The two cherubims that were above the mercy seat. Dva cherubina koji su bili iznad ploča milosti. That's not just a piece of furniture for you to consider that's historical. To nije samo deo namještaja koji je historijski značaj. It is a principle of God's Shekinah glory. To je princip Božije objavljene slave ili Shekinah na Hebrejsku. I'm going to let him be the other angel. He's smiling. Uh, he's not too sure about that. You're like, what? That's news to me. But he's the other angel. So, I'm, I'm, I'm angel number one. Angel number two. And we reach up on high. Their wings touched on high. Why is that principle in the scripture? Because God will not move until two agree touching any one thing. And when you touch someone else in agreement, you create a growth culture and atmosphere where there can be Shekinah glory that can manifest itself. Ah, that is a powerful principle if you ever get it. It will transform your church if you could just come into agreement. Say yes every once in a while. Kažete da. Look yes every once in a while. Gledajte kao da kažete da. Give your energy to produce the vision. Dajte svoju energiju da se ispuni vizija. The Jewish rabbis taught the principle like this. Židovski rabini su učili ovaj princip. They taught it over a thousand years before Jesus was born. That in order for the glory of God to manifest itself, you had to have a speaker of the blessing. And in order to complete the circuit and create Shekinah, i da bi se zatvorio krug i da bi Božja slava bila vidljiva. You had to have an amener. 
to the blessing. And he who said amen was greater than he who spoke the blessing. Because it created a negative and a positive pole. Because you have to have both to have an electrical current. That's not only a natural law, it's a spiritual law. I speak it and you say amen to it. And when you say amen, it completes the circuit. And the glory can manifest. And what is spoken can be demonstrated. I want to see a demonstration of the Holy Ghost in this place. Where Jesus is glorified. And these principles are in operation. Creates growth. And so whenever I get a growth culture working in my church, now right now we've got about 1,498. And I'm just starting to cast vision for 2017. And we're going to have it. 200 brand new families come into the church in 2017. Not people, but families. 200 brand new families. Woo, I feel that. Can anybody say it? I'm not satisfied. I want to cast vision. Because if you're not reaching, Seeking to die. Because if you stagnate, you have no place to go but down. But if you're always reaching, you have no place but to go but up. You got to think that way. Now, I want you to think about it. I want you to develop your rule of five. And then I reflect on whether or not I actually, that's the fifth thing, I reflect. I think, did I do my rule of five today? Did I encourage Brother Tear? Or did I let his person stop me? <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. Forget that. Forget that. I encourage Brother Tear because he is a man of God. I lift him up because he has a special assignment. He has been sent to you by the Holy Ghost. And you need to recognize the anointing that's on his life. If I can recognize it, you surely ought to be able to. So I lift him up. Why? Because I want to join with his assignment. And I want to help him fulfill it. Because if I can actually do that, when I go back to Pensacola, my anointing is going to increase and it's going to multiply. There are some devils you cannot defeat Postoji demoni koji ne možete da porazite. Unless you join with someone else in faith. Dok se ne pridružite nekome u veri. And there are some visions you will never realize. I postoje vizije koje nikad nećete ispuniti. Unless I can step into his vision. Osim ako ugoračite u nečiju viziju. And help him fulfill his vision. I pomožete nekome da ispuni njegovu viziju. And that's the way it works. And you got to learn that principle. Because if you don't, you never will grow. You will, you will die on the vine.
And I want you to live. Ja želim da živite. And it matters. I stalo mi je. It's important. Važno mi je. That you listen to what I'm saying. I have been in the Pentecostal church all of my life. And I understand our culture very well. And we have a revival culture. But we do not have a growth culture. That is a fact. And now we got to change that. Because God is calling us to growth and not just to revival. And God's going to give it to you. But every one of you need to come alongside Brother Tear's vision. And he will come alongside your vision. And there will be a synergy that's created. And when it's created, it is if you will multiply in growth. Trust me, it will happen. But you got to learn the principle. And then I reflect now. I want you to create a rule of five right now. I want you to write it down. I want you to go to page number, and I believe it will be nine in your book. Uh, number nine. And I want you to write down your rule of five. Write it down. What is it? Create it. Imagine it. If you haven't been doing anything, do something. Find something. It don't have to be like mine. You're a unique person. I want you to also, along the side, I want you to write, here's the place I'm going to go to do this. Try to select a time you're going to do it tomorrow. You can start tonight after this service and you get home. Start tonight. Start tomorrow. Start doing it. Now. And you, it will change your life. Write it down. You may, you may be already doing it and not even realize it. That's good. Just write it down. Get intentional. And start praying these scriptures. Start writing down what you're going to share with your leaders. What's the vision of your church? I just cast one particular vision. I want you to double. If you're running 50, I want you to run 100. That's what double means. If you're running 200, I want you to run 4. Yes. If you don't have the finances to uh, build a, bu a new building, or purchase a new building, God, I bless you with the finances and God's going to open the door for you to get the money to do it. Look for it in the mail in Jesus' name. Rejoice in it in Jesus' name. And when your brother gets it, you rejoice for him. Because God's going to do it for you too. So I bless you with the resources that you need. Receive that word of faith in Jesus' name. Get all the territorialism and, and jealousy. Just say jealousy. <laughs> Get all the jealousy out of your spirit. Get everything out of your spirit that we've talked about. Quit looking at everything from a negative lens. And look at it from a biblical perspective. 
You can do all things through Christ which Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that he can ask or think according to the power that worketh. Uh, I got the question now. I tell you what, y'all I'm firing me up. Y'all just turn me loose and we'll have church right now. <laughs> now unto him who is able <laughs> to do exceeding abundantly above all that you can ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. That power is do you have the Holy Ghost? Have you spoke with tongues? You've got the power. It's in you right now. You don't have to get it. You've already got it. Start thinking right. Because your thought process has to be in agreement. It has to be in alignment. It has to be in alignment. It's got to be in alignment with your Holy Ghost. Well, he got it back there, didn't he? The baby got it back there. Now you need to get it in here. Agreement. Amen. Amen. Yes. Da. Focus. Focus. Purpose. Svrha. It's yours. Vaše. Rejoice. Radujes. Celebrate. Slavi. Smile. Sm uh, se. You've got the joy. Imate radost. Mm. You've got the hope. Imate radu. Give it. Daj. Speak it. Govorite. Find your pastor before you leave. Nađite pastor pre nego što odete. Tell him I'm for you. I'm on your side. Let's go do this. I want to see your vision fulfilled. Whatever you need me to do, I'll do it. That's the way it works. I can't help but get excited. I can't help but feel it. And that's the greatest thing that you can do. I remember when I was 19 years old and I had just come from a conference where all the great preachers were and I heard some great preaching and I met some great people. But I walked away from that conference <coughs> totally discouraged because I I just did not have the same gifting and talent as all those great preachers. And I went to Canada. It was 38 degrees below zero temperature Fahrenheit. That's cold. I felt such of the oppression on my spirit. And I said, God, how am I going to make it? I could never preach that good. On my best day, I can't preach that good. I was an evangelist. I was going from church to church. There's no way I can make it. And God said, I want you to develop your rule of fire. I want you to go back to the King's Gate every day. Whether I bless you or I don't bless you. Do it every day. And I started the process. And now the Lord, uh, uh, 
the Lord has been with me. Господи сам бил съм. Not because I can preach as good as they can preach. Мога да проповедам колкото они проповедат. But because of what I do every single day. Него сме горе да стоим всеки ден. And I'm going to do it tomorrow. И ради че то сутра. And I'm going to do it the next day. И ради че преко сутра. And I'm going to do it the next day. И ради че то And I'm going to do it to the day I die. And I don't care if I grow to 3,000 and 5,000. I'm going to keep on doing it. Amen. Because that's my food. That's my energy. And that's the power of my strength. That's why I wrote Made for More. Зато съм написал книгу с твоите книжи. Because I learned the principle when I was 19. Ер съм научил е принцип, като съм имал 19 години. And when I wanted to go to the next level. И като съм желал да идам на следеча ниво. And I wanted to see people get the Holy Ghost. И желал съм да видим какво люди да бъдат свето. God said, go to another evangelist revival. И Бог е рекал, иди у още едно пробудение. You get into those altars. Иди на тай алтар. And you pray people through for his revival to make him a success. И молиш се те луѓе да да проповедение тој проповедник да помогнеш нему негово пробудение да негово пробудение успе. If you want to break the stranglehold on your ministry. Ако желите да изградите стаго своје службе. Stranglehold. Go find somebody else. Значи да некој кој е веќе у служби. And help them become a success. И помогнете им да постану успех. And not be jealous of what God does through them. И не будете любоморни на тоа што што Бог ради кроз нив. And I promise you, it'll break every chain in your life. И тоа обечеа во тој час помеки сваки оку во вашето живот. And you'll never worry about it again. И никаде не сте бринути тоа не оку. And God will use you. И Бог ќе осу подебљава. I feel the Holy Ghost. Ја осети Светот Јесус. I remember one of my favorite preachers. His brother Jeff Arnold. He's a very good friend of mine. We were preaching conference together. He preached first. And I had to preach next. And I said, whoever put me behind Jeff Arnold, if I ever find him, I will kill him. <laughs> Because he's one of the best of the best. Amen. He's an awesome preacher. And I said, God, how am I going to preach after him? And God spoke to me. And said, they don't want to hear him after him. Said, after they get finished listening to that, they don't want to hear that no more. If they wanted him to preach twice, they'd have asked him to preach twice. He said, they want to hear what you got to say. Just as much as they wanted to hear what he had to say. And when I got up to speak, in 15 minutes the Holy Ghost hit that place and everything hit their face. It went absolutely nuts. I don't know if they took the service over. Because they were tired of listening to me. But the Holy Ghost fell. And I learned a secret. It's not about how good you do. It's about whether or not you obey God. And if you obey God, that's more important. So I say Serbia. Let's obey God. The rule of five. It's yours now. Now let's go do it. And watch yourself grow. And God's going to take the lid off of your ministry. And when he takes the lid off. Sky's the limit. Better. Stronger. More unified. Start getting a blessing tongue. Say amen to it right now. Amen to it right now. Speak it out of your mouth. Declare it. Say it. Behold. Be encouraged. Amen.
Amen. I bless you, my brother, in Jesus' name. I bless you, my brother, in Jesus' name. I speak into your life. And I bless every minister and leader in this entire nation. You got it. Now let's go. Amen. Amen. Now, you just got to do it. It's up to you. You can't just say, oh, boy, that was really great. <laughs> and then no, no, go do it. It's not going to help you. Do it. And God will do it. I broke the Pentecostal culture. <laughs> In Pensacola. To create a growth climate. And if I can do it in that traditional church, you can do it in any church. Do it. And you'll be blessed. Amen. Amen. Amen.